you all thought we were done with the madness. I fear it has only just begun. Now then, hello everyone, this is Haruka, and welcome back to Mad Father. Last time, we completed the main story, but there's more to this game than there actually appears. We have unlocked Blood Mode. Which revolves around adult Aya. Now, I wonder what grown-up Aya has to do in her timeline. Let's see what let's see what this has to offer, shall we? And of course start from the prologue, my goodness. And there's your disclaimer if you haven't seen the previous eight episodes of this. Ah, uh, yes, there's adultery! Ah, uh, even though we did a supercut of this, I've missed saying that. Maria! Look at this apple. It's so strange, isn't it? Welcome back, mistress. My, what a strange color that apple has. I was on my way home when an old lady in a black hood gave it to me. That's already a red flag, Aya. Don't be stupid, dearie. A black hood? That sounds awfully suspicious. For once, I'll agree with Maria. I wonder what it tastes like. Do not be stupid, Aya. You're smarter than this. You are smarter than this. You're not 11 anymore, for God's sake. Mistress, you mustn't. Don't put such a thing in your mouth. You know things are about to get screwy when Maria starts talking sense. I guess you're right. But... I just want to check. She really is going to bite into this apple, isn't she? <sighs> The naivete of Iadrevis. Oh my god. And then she died. Well, that, that was a rather short mode. Mistress. Ah, oh, mistress, what rashness. Please, hang on. Mistress. What? This doesn't seem right. Is this my room? I wonder... Did I die? Something about this is wrong. I mean, Dio burned down the mansion in the last episode. So why are we back here? Oh, it doesn't matter now. Snowball! Snowball, to think I get to meet you again. Sleeping, hmm? It's been so lonely without you. Are you implying that Snowball died? Now I'm sad again. I guess the fact that you're here must mean this is the afterlife, right? Or is there a curse at work, like there was back then? Something about this is terribly wrong. Your favorite doll. You again. The doll father gave me. How nostalgic. Sorry for leaving you to sit here all alone. And now we just look at the picture of Monica. Yes, apparently that's Aya's mother's name. Even the portrait is the same as back then. Mom, I'm here now because you protected me. Thank you. Are you still watching over me now? I'm 
envious of your relationship with your mother, Aya, dearie. Because, uh, I just wish I had a better relationship with my own mother. Anyway. I want to check this room a little more. What else is there to explore? A plain dresser. Horace the Trader. The Red-Eyed Stranger. Oh, and we've, we're finding gems again, are we? And there's 20 of them, like in the main story. Just like that night. The night my fate forever changed. Oh, well, isn't that a familiar noise? I wonder if that scream was... Well, we know how this story is going to go. Now then. Maybe I'll get to meet him. Why would you want to meet your father? Remember what he did? Or do I need to remind you? Zombies again. Of course. How nostalgic. It's like a recreation of that night. Ah, and here comes Dio. That voice. Long time no see, Dio. You're the one from back then. Oh, and he has the same dialogue. I always wanted to meet... Look at those eyes, Aya dear. Are you getting some ideas? I never forgot for a second. I still remember my promise with you. Oh, and he's still missing his eye. Wait! If I had run away with him then, I wonder how my future might have changed. Zombies! And she just calmly walks away. Some very interesting books you have here. As ever. Who? It's been a while, young lady. Mister! So you did survive! Or else, am I in the afterlife? We appear to be in a space born of someone's strong emotions. Your soul has been trapped here. At this rate, you may be unable to return to your own world. I don't want that! Maria will be left all alone! Then why did you bite into the apple? Ah, <sighs> You know it's screwy when Ogre starts making a point. How do you know about that? <laughs> what a funny girl. Your soul still straddles a light in the line between life and death. If you wish to escape from here, destroy that which has created this space. Such a strange guy, as usual. You really shouldn't have bitten into that apple, for God's sake. The thing creating this space, could it be... Aya. I'm being called for. Let's go. Hello again, Mr. Birdie. To the lab we go again. It's almost as if... Oh, wait. It's almost as if we're doing this again, because Aya made a really stupid decision. Now then. Oh, we're seeing ghosts now, are we? Let me just... I don't even know why I'm getting these now, considering... Yeah, I had no intention of beating 100% beating the game. The dolls again. This really 
is a recreation of the main story. Hello again, Mr. Birdie. Dog's there again, as usual. Now then, I just beat the game, so I should remember what I'm doing, right? I just can't believe that we had to do it all over again. There goes the weeping girl without eyes. I feel like I just heard a vo- You encountered that voice! Are you kidding me? Now then, just push it. There you go. Now we can unlock that door. Spirit! Now, Aya, that's no good. Oh, you again, even though you're long dead. Adultery! You can't treat living things like toys. Why not? Because it'll cause you pain. I'm not hurting anywhere, though. Are you hurting, Father? You'll know what pain I mean when you're older. And when you're hurt, Aya, it hurts me, too. That little bird's crying in pain, you see. How should I make the pain go away? You say I'm sorry to the bird. Go on, say you're sorry. I'm sorry. Well, it's like I predicted. Sociopathy does run in the family. My goodness. Now where does that old key go to again? What? Excuse me, what? That was just a doll scare, wasn't it? Of course. Grum pum pum pum. Thank you, Mr. Toy Soldier. Now is Toilet Zombie still in here? He will be once I pick up the gem. I know how this works. Is there a all in the blood. Now then, prepare for toilet zombie. Yep, as I expected. No! And now he's just going to be there. Again. Oh, and Maria's room is, is unlocked from the outset. I wonder why. Is there anything in here worth investigating? Maria's diary is here. And we can just read it again. Oh, wait! Actuary Exith. Yesterday I encountered a young boy. He was adorable and even smaller than the mistress. But the moment he saw me, he ran off crying. Is my face indeed so frightening? Yes! The mistress always seems to be scared of me as well. I suppose it's the eyes. Well, I'm sure it's, the, it's that the mistress dislikes me. I c it cannot be helped. I did take away the doctor. Surely I could not replace her mother. Once more, the mistress went out to play in the woods nearby. Yes, just the other day she was terrified when a wolf chased her into those woods. That personality of her... Strikes me as familiar. I'm sure that adds something to the plot. I can't believe Maria's room was unlocked from the outset. Now then. You again. Are you going to trip me? A life-sized doll. Are you going to trip me as we walk by? I think not! <laughs> Out fox you! Revenge is a bitch, isn't it? The doll is broken. Hello again, Mr. Birdie. 
now, before I end the episode, is what I think in is going to be in here again. I knew it was coming, but at the same time, it still got me. To hell with you, ghost! Although we should have given back your daughter already, right? We did! What are you on about? A diary. We gave back your daughter! What are you on about? Now then... I think we've done enough for one episode. Because I believe that we're going to be doing this as a series. It's like we're playing Mad Father all over again. But just through the shoes of adult Aya. Now then, if you lovely folks enjoyed the video, please do leave a like and a comment to let me know. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, my lovely subjects. <laughs>